it's 10.50, we're at uh, our uh, Snow White's Grotto. I think it's time to make a fresh baked wish, don't you think? Oh dear, look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. Something good's about to happen. <laughs> They're gonna play for a minute and then a bunch of characters are gonna come out of here. It's gonna be awesome. Here they come. Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy! <laughs> Yay! Oh. Wait, there's more, there's more! They totally waved at us. <laughs> so a quick bit of trivia about uh, Snow White's Grotto here. These statues, all these figurines were a gift uh, way back in the day to Walt. I can't remember the guy, he's just a random sculptor, a fan of Disneyland, and he gifted all of these statues to, to Disney. And of course, they had to find a place to put them, so they built this grotto. This grotto was designed, I believe, if I, if I remember correctly, was, was built just for these statues. And it was designed in such a way, because you'll notice all of these, well, I don't know if you notice or not, but they're all the same size. So you've got dwarves, seven dwarves, uh, and they're the same size as snow up there. So that's a problem, right? Because they're supposed to be dwarves. They built this whole area intentionally using Force perspective, like they often do, like throughout Main Street and whatnot, uh, to put her higher up and further back to make her appear, you know, in a distance, even though she's actually the same size as all of them. All right, let's make that wish. Now I've only got a quarter, so this is going to make it a really good wish because it's 25 cents worth. Okay, dear Magic of Disneyland, make my wish come true. How magical! It's almost, what is it, it's 11.15, so we haven't exactly hit peak time yet, but I really thought it was going to be more crowded than this. Wait till we get to the little further on in the summer, though. The first, the first few weeks of summer are, are nice. Uh, the, the, you know, the end, of the end of May and early June, pretty good. So we'll have, we'll have a pretty decent day of it, but in about three weeks, it's going to be bonkers. Speaking of bonkers, that's a good idea, or it's a good time to remind everyone that if you do have a trip coming up, you, you plan a trip for the summer or maybe coming up uh, for the uh, Halloween season, give our friends over at uh, mouseexpedition.com a look. These guys are pretty awesome at planning a day for you, creating a custom itinerary, uh, bringing the park, you know, bringing you to the park and showing you the most efficient way, the best way really to, to, to maximize your, your day at the park. They, they've really got a pretty good plan on how to, you know, get you to see as many rides as you can get on and really make it a, kind of an easy experience for you. Uh, they will, they'll create a custom itinerary or they'll come with you to the park and be your personal guide, which is really nice to have an expert with you, especially if you don't come very often. It's a really nice thing to have because there's a lot of pressure on making sure you do the right thing. Because a lot of times, you know, parents with a, with a group or with a family, uh, let's say, well, you'll feel some pressure about, you know, am I doing it right? Am I, am, I, am I really getting all of it that I can? And these guys will help you do that. So go to mouseexpedition.com slash FBD. That FBD is for Fresh Baked. And, uh, you know, look them up and, and look, you know, check them out and see if they can help you out. Interior, interior Frontierland ain't been up in the trouble ever since. I got a feeling they're a little more dim than they are dangerous, though, and after the talking to I gave them. 
they'd be pretty stupid to show their faces around here again. <laughs> Woo! They show their faces around there. here again. Yeah, you don't want to mess with me no how. Let's get serious. <laughs> be prepared to get robbed. Yeah. You know what? I would stay and watch that money. show, but Throw I want to go ride Hunter Mansion. Throw up your valuables. Throw up your jewelry. And then I want to eat. Pretty busy here at the Haunted Mansion. We got in line at about 11.20, it's 11.40 now, so 20 minutes just to get to here. The, the sign said 30 minutes, so I don't think that's quite accurate. It's, it's pretty busy. This is going to be 40 minutes, I'm, I'm thinking at least. an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Creepy creeps with eerie eyes and starting to shake and hide. 